All right, so I got these two air rifles right here, uh, compressed air rifles. The Hatsun air rifle, I forgot if there was any like other name to it, but it's made by Hatsun. This is made by Stroger. That's the, I guess, other name for it, but it's a Stroger air rifle. Came with a nice scope. This one came with a scope too, but not as much detailed as this one is right here. You can tell which one is more I guess expensive I guess um, has a bipod mount available I think this one does too but I'm not really sure um, just right off the looks from it this one have sights and this one doesn't um, suppressor and compensator true glow true glow fiber optic optics and they're adjustable as well this one actually has um railing on it i forgot what that's called but uh has that if you didn't want to put a scope in or something else and this one doesn't have a rail it's it was only designated for scopes um these parts can be changed this this and this i know i think both of the triggers are adjustable i haven't adjusted them yet um there's nothing on here that can be uh changed out i'm going to show the pieces that what they look like that can be changed out in a second but um i think they are the same length and these do not shoot the same caliber so yeah they're about this one's about a little bit longer they could be the same nah hat sun is longer by a little bit but um this one shoots uh this one shoots 22 caliber it just shoots 1.77. I'm gonna show the um, pellets as well, what they both take. Okay, so this is 1.77 caliber. Or 4.5 millimeter. But um, very small, it goes to this. This one shoots out, I think the max is 1200 feet per second. This is the 22. Uh, max on the hat sun is 1000 FPS. And I'm gonna compare these two right next to each other to see this is what they look like very different in size this one is way bigger and you can't like shoot one of these in there it won't work it's too big of a um, pellet to fit That's what it looked like. Quite a big difference. In this one, they give you 500. Rather than this one, they only give you 200. All right, I'm gonna show the uh, extra pieces too. All right, so I have the pieces for the Stroger. Nothing, there was no extra stuff that came with the um, hat sun, but um, it matches up with these back here, orange and blue. And you just put these on either side and unscrew stuff and have it blue or mix it together and have it orange and blue. All right, so the scope, you got these settings on here. Uh, I think it was for like the blurriness. It starts at 10 yards all the way up to 300 and more, I guess. Then that part is just a get it sighted in i think yeah and this part is for the zoom it is a three to nine yeah so a three to nine i don't know the width and diameter of it that might be it i'm not really sure but uh then this one it's more smaller than the other one you can't zoom it i don't think no, it's a plastic. This one is just more metal or more of a stronger material. Uh, got that right there. Four X thirty two. What this one say? What it says that? All right, so this is what the um Stroger look like inside. Uh, this is for the one point seven seven caliber. Smaller hole. I'm gonna show the other one too. But uh. 
Let's just load it. You lift that back up. Just like that. And this one looks like this. A bigger hole for 22. Uh, it's already greased up too, which is good. The sight's right there. Probably get them. That's how it look. The sights. So I haven't really shot it all like that. Uh, I got to sight the scope in for both of them first. Before I do more shooting with them. I don't want to shoot the wrong thing. Because these are really powerful. Pretty sure you could hunt uh, squirrels or whatever type of animals that would be hunted with these type of air rifles. But um, that's what that looks like. Uh, the Stroger is pretty heavy when it compared to this one, which is more lightweight, more uh, kind of seem kind of more sporty for like active use, for like moving a lot. Other than this one, you know, it's it's kind of less stuff all over it. This one seems kind of more reinforced a little bit. Uh, I feel like different materials. Trigger does seem different from this one. Both got safeties back there. That's what that one look like. And that one, that's what, and that's what that one look like. Um, this can come out and I mean raise up too for your cheek. And. I think I already mentioned it, the suppressor. It is actually quieter with the suppressor than the compensator like that. It really helped with an um, outdoor environment, which can get kind of loud. Sounds like a 22 long rifle. All right, so for the Stroger, these are all the ammo I got for it. Various different types of um, pellets. Uh, this one's like more flat. Well, kind of like that one, but mm, more rounder. Uh, the point, this pointy one is like G22. I already showed earlier. Um, this one is special. I like how it is like that, like a little um thumbtack. Then this one is like a hollow point kind of. The way it's um kind of absent of stuff right there. 10 grain. This one is 7.4 grain. Uh, not really sure. I don't think it says on that one. That one either. 7.5, 56 grain. And this one is 7.4 grain. Now with the 22, I only got this one, but I'm gonna get more. Uh, I like this one too. Seems more possibly sturdy than this one. Might be a bigger punch to it. But uh, this one is a higher grain than it, so maybe not. And in millimeters, it is 5.5 millimeters. It says it right there. But that's what they look like. This thing is really heavy. Kind of like that one. With these ones, this is like only the really heavy one. So I will be trying these in a later video, probably against these ones, based on the weight it is. And yeah, that's pretty much it.